Let's understand how to solve word problems in which we have age. Now the question here is, Ritu is 6 years younger than John. 18 years ago, she was 2 thirds his age. How old is she now? So in these problems, it is important to understand the situation. So we are talking about two different times. We can make kind of a table and understand what is happening here. So we'll say, let this be present. And let this be the condition given. It says, Ritu is six years younger than John. 18 years ago, she was two thirds his age. How old is she now? So when you read the question, you need to define your variables as the first step. So age of Ritu and John are the variables. So we give the let statement and write down the age of Ritu and John. So say let present age be for Ritu, we will use R. And for John, we will say J. So let the present age be for Ritu R and for John J. So these are the present ages. It says Ritu is six years younger than John. So at present, what is the relation? What is the relation at present? It says Ritu is six years younger than John. That means Ritu is equals to John minus six. Okay, so that is the present condition. Now says 18 years ago, she was two thirds his age. So this is 18 years ago. Now this, let's talk about 18 years ago. Now if it is 18 years ago, then what was the age of Ritu 18 years ago? 18 years ago, age of Ritu was, she was younger by 18 years. It was R minus 18. And how about John? John was also younger by 18 years. So the, their ages were R minus 18 and J minus 18, 18 years ago. Correct? Now that is to be converted into a relation, which is 18 years ago, she was two thirds his age. That means R minus 18 is two third of J minus 18. You understand? So that is the situation 18 years ago. So we have the equation here which says R minus 18 equals to two thirds, two thirds of J minus 18. Do you understand? So that is the second relation. So we got two equations, one here and the second one here. Since we have two variables, we can solve them with two equations, right? So we have an equation here, which is the present age. It says Ritu is six years younger than John. Ritu is six years younger than John. And the second one, 18 years ago, she was two thirds his age. So Ritu minus 18 equals to two third of J minus 18, right? Two equations. Now when you have two equations, you can solve for two variables. Now which method to adopt? Since we know one variable in terms of the other, substitution is a good method. So we'll replace the value of r, which is j minus 6, in equation 2. So we'll substitute 1 in equation 2. Correct? So instead of r minus 18, this r will replace by j minus 16. Do you see that? That is the replacement which we are going to do. So let's substitute and then solve. So R minus 18, I writing J minus 6 for R. So I get J minus 6 and then we have minus 18 is equal to 2 third of J minus 18. Right? So that is the final equation which we got using equation 1 and 2. And this equation is only with one variable which is J, John's age. Right? So we can solve this equation 
find John's age and then we can find Ritu's age because the question is how old is she now? Present age of Ritu. Right? To solve this, let's simplify this first. It says J minus 18 and minus 6 will be minus 24 equals to 2 over 3 times J minus 18. Now get rid of fractions. We got 2 over 3. If we multiply both sides by 3, then we can avoid 3 here, right? So what I'll do here next step is I will multiply by 3 both sides, times 3 both sides. So I'll do times 3 here and I will do times 3 here, right? So when I do times 3, then it becomes, let me write this step here, 3 times j minus 24 equals to this 3 and 3 cancels out. So we get 2 times j minus 80. You see that? So that is how we get our equation. And now we can open this up and solve for j. So we get 3j minus 24 times 3, which will be 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 2 is 6 and 1, 7, 72 equals to 2 times j minus 36, correct? Now we can bring j's together and find the value. So we'll rearrange the variables on the left side, constants on the right side. So we get 3j minus 2j equals to 72 minus 36. Now from here, we can always find the value of j. Right. So let's move on to this side. So 3j minus 2j is j. If j equals to 72 minus 36 is 36. So we get John's age, which is 36. So let's call this as equation 3. Now to find Ritu's age, we'll use equation 1 and 3. So we'll sub 3 in 1. Correct? So j is 36. We'll write 36 for j here and say Ritu is 36 minus 6 that gives us 30 right so we got the present age of Ritu and now we can write down our answer and that is she is 30 years old now so that's the answer now once you get the answer it's a good practice to check so let's check so we have age of Ritu as 30 and John as 36. So what do we know? We know that R is 30, Ritu's age, and John's age is 36. So if you check with the equation, we know 36 minus 6 is 30, so that is perfect. Here also we can plug it in. And we say John is 36, 36 minus 18 is 18, 18 divided by 3 will be 6, and 6 times 2 is 12. So we get 12 on this side from this equation. Let's check the right side, which is 30 for R. 30 minus 18 is also 12. So that is correct. So we have checked that the answer is correct. So we are sure whatever we have done is correct. Now, how to solve this kind of problem? Have a look at it. This is kind of planning. We are trying to think what happens. In age problems, it will be like ago and after. If it is previous, the age will decrease. If it is after, age will increase. So understand your variables and then form your equation and solve. So that is the strategy which you need to apply for such problems. I hope you appreciate. Thank you.